what you guys are doing welcome back to the channel and today is going to be kind of special because i'm going to show you how to play the guitar solo that i played on amphibia's no big deal last week a buddy of mine sent me a video of some kids playing a guitar solo that i recorded for uh, disney's animated series amphibia and man i'll tell you one thing dude to have people on the internet just play things that you recorded and post it on the internet it's kind of a weird feeling dude it's kind of a trip i'm not even gonna lie when i saw that i was like dude there's no way in hell this is real life but it also tells me that perhaps there are more people interested in playing that solo and if you're interested in getting the guitar tab for it i'll leave a link to that in the description um but yeah hope you enjoy this short lesson it's gonna be cool it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be something new for me so enjoy all right so the first lick of this solo is actually just in g minor pentatonic right so we have minor pentatonic shape starting on the third fret sixth string you, you could probably play it cleaner than that because i'm not warm yet <laughs> first lick starts with some unison bends on the first string third fret and the sixth fret second string the only string we're bending here is a second string and notice it creates like this beating effect right make sure you have that dip in there too second part that sounds like a lot of notes but realistically if you break it down into a couple of sections of six notes so so two sections of six notes um it's really just a fragment just repeating over itself so we have third fret sixth third right right remember that fragment right and now we're just going to repeat that on the second and third strings but within the notes of the g minor scale right that's all it is so we have and the, to exit that lick we have this like this little blues thing uh, five, fifth fret, third fret, five, three, four, five on the fourth string. Little Hem Hendrix trill between third fret and fifth fret on the fourth string. All right, so following that is the second guitar part, um, which comes up to B flat to C. Excuse me. <laughs> you saw nothing, All right? So we have first fret, third fret, power chord. I'll start on the fifth string. All right? Okay, now this, this part is fast. I'm not gonna say it's not hard. Actually, I, I am gonna say it's not hard. It is not hard, it's just fast AF, right? So we're changing keys from G minor to C. And we're pretty much gonna play all the notes in the C major scale. Also, the same thing as the first section, if you break this up into chunks of six notes each, it'll be way easier to remember. So check this out, the whole run is... Better break it down, right? So the first six notes is 9, 10, 12, 9, 10, 12 on the fourth and third strings. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So repeat that twice. Okay. Next section is gonna be on the second string, 10, 12, 13. 9, 10, 12, third string. So we're going back a little bit. So, so far we got. The section after that is 10, 12, 13, second string, 10, 12, 13, first string. Cool, so, so far we got. Easy peasy so far, right? And then to end it, we're gonna go 12, 13, 15, 12, 13, 15 on the first and second string. And then end it to the slide to the 17th fret. Cool. So that lick slow again is. It's fast, dude. <laughs> Uh, 
The things I would recommend when practicing, right? The second lick is fast. It's not hard, but it is fast. And the way to approach that would be to, um, I would recommend a strict alternate picking technique, right? Down, up, down, up, down, up, no matter what, especially because we're in groups of six, right? So your first three notes are gonna be down, up, down. Your second three notes are gonna be up, down, up. So if you're having trouble with your alternate picking, I would isolate that motion itself. The because chances are going from one string to the next is actually what's holding you back. So and just work that. Right? And then just work the whole lick slowly with the metronome. And that is pretty much it. It's not hard, it's just fast. And if you're interested, there's gonna be a link to the article, which also has a link to the tab in the description. I'll link it there. And if you download the tab file, I'll even include the tabs for the section after the guitar solo. So when the whole band comes in with a... And if you end up playing this on any social media platforms, feel free to tag me. I'd love to watch your videos. But that's pretty much it. I um, hope you liked the video. If you like stuff like this, let me know in the comments. If you hate it, let me know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to. If you're not gonna, also feel free to because hey, that's just the nature of the beast. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.